Uh, bonjour, Julie. Yes, uh, we have you loud and clear. Uh, we're ready for the event. Hello, Bob. Hello, Julie. Bonjour, Julie. Uh, comme astronaute, uh, je dois dire que uh, je suis très heureux de vous voir tous les I'm very happy to have both see you both today. On behalf of the Canadian Space Agency, chaque jour. Uh, We're following everything you're doing very close by. I'm pretty excited uh, following this mission, and I have the pleasure of uh, introducing Gary Goodyear, uh, Minister of State for Science and Technology, and Stephen Blaney, a Deputy uh, Member of Parliament. Uh, they will ask you some questions. Well, hello. Uh, let me just say, uh, Robert and Julie, that the entire nation has been focused on your missions. We are very proud of you both. To have you two in space is clearly a historical milestone for this nation. Robert, if I could ask you the first question. Robert, you are uh, part of the first six-man crew on the International Space Station. So what is it like to be part of that crew uh, working with the five countries? And also, what was it like to open the door and see a fellow Canadian coming on board? Well, Mr. Goodyear, thank you for uh, speaking with us today. Um, the best thing about uh, being uh, an astronaut aboard the space station is working with my, my crewmates. My five crewmates uh, repre representing the other four agencies involved in the space station program are incredibly talented, passionate, motivated, enthusiastic people. Uh, that's the, the highlight for me. I'm also proud, being a Canadian, that uh, Canada ranks with uh, the leaders in world exploration and world in innovation. It makes me uh, makes me very proud. Poursuivre avec une seconde question pour Julie. Julie, je voudrais vous dire que je vous vois ici depuis la centre de Saint Hubert. Second question for Julie. From uh, St. Hubert, uh, your haircut, your hairstyle is amazing. <laughs> on behalf of uh, the entire people who is watching you, and the entire country, we feel an immense pride. It's like the entire province of Quebec was on board with you, aboard the International Space Shuttle. And it's amazing to know that uh, somebody from Quebec like you is uh, aboard the space shuttle and representing Canada and Quebec together with Japanese people. How do you feel way up there? And, and the fact that you can see me uh, from way up there from space. Bonjour à tout le monde. Merci pour Hi, everyone. Thank you. This is uh, really an international station here. And, and St. Hubert is very, very far. It's been five days now that I've been here. It's, I'm extremely proud and work, working on temporary setting up the, the cargo transferring issues. And you have two Canadian arms that are uh, ensuring this mission, Canada Arm and Canada Arm 2. And I'm extremely proud and happy and, and to be part of this international community. And as you can see, I'm floating without gravity in space, as a, just like my colleague. <laughs> Bob, let me ask you, uh, all Canadians are wondering, you've been there now seven weeks. How are you uh, adapting to life, uh, literally living and working in space? Well, that's a good question. Um, I've had one previous uh, space flight before, which was a short duration, a 17-day flight, and I thought I had adapted after 17 days. That is not true. Uh, certainly, I, I adapt physiologically. You know, the heart, the muscles, the, the vestibular system can adapt quickly. 
But uh, living and working in a weightless environment is uh, something that goes on not seven weeks, perhaps it's more like seven months. Learning to be productive, learning to be efficient, uh, learning not to lose my things, which is a da daily event for, for me, is something that takes a, a long time. Uh, I think I have uh, learned an awful lot. My working efficiency has dramatically uh, uh, risen, but there certainly is a certain rhythm to life aboard a space station, which is different than a shuttle flight, and it takes a little bit of uh, learning. But I, I think, just from judging my more experienced crew members, that I'm 90 or 95 percent of the way there. Wonderful. Julie, let me ask you a question, if I can. Your first trip to the space station was 10 years ago when it was just being built, just beginning to be assembled. What was it like to board again 10 years later? Well, first, it was amazing to just come close to it. Um, during the phase that we called a rendezvous where the shuttle approaches uh, the space station for docking, when I came Ten years ago, it was only a station module. It was very small, but even then it appeared to us to be enormous. And when the station docks to the space shuttle, it's only a few inches away from the back window of the space shuttle. It's extremely impressive to see two large pieces of hardware coming in contact like this in outer space. Ten years ago, I was amazed that, that it, we were so close and the, and the station was so big, but it was nothing compared to what I saw days ago. Uh, living and breathing space station with six people on board, um, uh, a, a tremendous sight. And of course, we were all very excited to come on board and to see that many people uh, on board. It's a, it's, a, it's a habitat now. There are people living here for a long period of time, and you can see that it's a home, uh, not just uh, an empty laboratory like I saw 10 years ago. Well, that's wonderful. We are short on time, so let me thank both of you for joining us this evening and, and again tell you how proud we all are of what you're doing. The nation is watching, uh, and we are wishing you the very, very best on your mission. There are some reporters here who would like to speak with you, so we're going to pass the microphone to our reporters. We'll see you back on Earth. Mom. Thanks for joining us. Ma question s'adresse à Julie Payette. Ma question est à Julie. Un peu à la question précédente, en fait, je voudrais savoir quels sont les changements que vous avez remarqués ou la station. Would like to know what kind of changes you've noticed. Que vous avez remarqué ou l'évolution de la station spatiale internationale. Or the evolution that you've seen on the international station compared to 10 years ago. The changes are enormous. In 1999, when I had the privilege to come on board a station, they only had two mo models back then. There was very little uh, scientific experiment on board. Uh, today, we're talking about uh, uh, Two entities that are as big as a football field, capable of uh, hosting uh, several people living in there, extraordinary, uh, this gathering of several nations, and the fact that uh, this exploit was successful. And to be in a setting in space when we can work and live together, Merci. it's absolutely amazing. Thank you. Uh, I'm Tanya Kriviak from CTV Television, and uh, I'm wondering uh, how are the living quarters up at the International Space Station, given that there's so many of you, and if I'm not mistaken, there's been a problem with one of the toilets. It's inevitable. It's a question that has to be asked. And can you answer in English and in French, please? <laughs> If you're the type of person that enjoys camping, you'll love it here. Uh, living aboard the space station is, is like camping out. Uh, it's not a, 
um, you know, hotel class lifestyle. It's more of a rustic lifestyle. Um, I'm uh, one of the few crew members that's uh, just sleeping in a sleeping bag out in the middle of a, of a laboratory. Uh, it's like sleeping in a, in a warm